Hello everybody and welcome back to Grounded and where we left off in the previous episode I uh, managed to get myself quite a lot of stuff done uh, Of course, I also done quite a lot of stuff off camera now if you guys are looking at my base You can also see that there's like a huge thingamajig on top of it uh, No, nope, they don't want to press that. They want to press that uh, And if you guys are wondering what that is, that is me building a bridge uh, All the way around the tree because I want to make my way uh, to that thing And if you guys are wondering what that is, that is a beehive. I'm pretty sure that is a beehive I don't know if the game really wants us to do that, and the reason I'm saying this is because the branches of the tree all the way up there kind of look a little bit weird. And if you do climb all the way up there, it might look a little bit weird, so I'm pretty sure the developers didn't really want us to do that. But I am going to try to build all the way up there to try to see what that is all about. Um, as I was saying, probably not going to be anything that we can explore, but I'm still going to explore. I'm still going to try to get up there and see what I can find. But in today's episode, uh, what time is it? It's 7 a.m. In today's episode, I'm going to make my way to the uh, zombie castle. I want to explore that one. Just because I'm really curious what uh, we can actually find in there. Hold on, buddy. Get rid of that. Um, yeah, I'm really, really curious to see what we can actually find in there. Let me close this up so that pixel doesn't go anywhere. Cool. Uh, he is with us now. I am going to drink this up. I am going to drink this up. Um, I do have the ability to... Fill this up, though. There we go. And let me go to, as I was saying, the zombie castle. In today's episode, that is what I'm going to be focusing on. I want to see what that place is all about. Because I'm quite curious, to be honest. So let me uh, use our zipline system. Now, what I said that I finished up uh, off camera. I created a zipline, of course, that takes us all the way to that spot. I have another zipline that takes us exactly uh, to the... Um, Sand pit. I have another one taking us exactly to that table. We have a zip line taking us uh, on top of that chair. And we have another zip line taking us, of course, uh, to that spot. And another one taking us to the castle. And that's exactly the one that I'm going to take right now. And this is the bridge that I was talking about, right? If I do keep on climbing on this one, I am gonna eventually going to make my way all the way up there. I'm not going to do that because I did, fail quite, I did fall quite a couple of times and I lost a lot of health. But, um... That's fine. Look at that. That's going to go all around it until we are going to make our way to that um, beehive. I'm really curious to see what that beehive is all about. But until then, what I want to focus on is making my way inside here. Uh, let me jump into my inventory. Grab this card because this card is actually allowing me to carry a lot of uh, grass. Let me bring this one a little bit closer. I think the way I'm going to have to do this, I'm going to have to kill quite a lot of these mosquitoes first. Yeah, because as you guys can see, they are messing me up a lot here. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. I'm going to snipe you all day, every day. The thing is, we got to find ourselves one more golden tooth, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to be able to get myself the ability to carry even more um, of these arrows. Let me call for another mosquito over, but first... Come on, buddy. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. And build these up. Yeah, this is the only way I'm going to do this because I have no idea how to get further. Oh, no. Don't destroy my stuff. Don't destroy my bridge, buddy. I think he just... Did he? I think he did, yeah. There we go. Get sniped. Get sniped. Wow. You're going to get destroyed, buddy. Come on. Come closer. Get out of here, buddy. I got so much armor, I don't even bother. But of course, the great thing about these swords is that they're giving you guys health back. So from time to time, we are going to have to also get health back. I took out some of the uh, mosquitoes, but I think I got to take out those two as well. Because they are close to exactly where I want to build a bridge. And they're going to annoy me a lot if I don't do it. There we go. And boom. Much better. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go back for the arrows eventually. I don't know where the mosquitoes are, but hopefully they're going to allow me to build this. They're going to need to bring more. I really love having the car that allows me to uh, collect a lot of um, a lot of uh, materials. Alright, let's go back. I'm going to have to bring more. And there's another ox down. I was just trying to get myself um, some resources here while... One of these oxes and the ladybirds decided to attack me. That's fine. We got ourselves more resources then. I'm not going to say no to more resources for sure. 
Uh, what's making this noise here? And I think there's also a tooth around here that I can collect. Taking a look. Oh wait! <gasps> Poopa leather! What? Hold up a minute, I had no idea what this is here. But I guess we're gonna explore because we might find... Uh, something that we need here. Hold up, let me go ahead and get myself power a little Helium. bit of light. Champion Not this one sun. though. I need this one. There we go. And we are gonna explore this, of course, because we might find a golden molar. Oh, what? What is that? Is that like a ball? It's kind of blocking the way though. Whoa. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. And that's not a golden molar, it's a normal one, but I guess it's good enough. Let me see if I can push this out, though. Out of the hole, right? Can I push this out of the hole? Oh! I can smack it. That's a ball. I know I would... Actually, no. Uh, can I push it here? Yes, we can. And the reason we gotta do this is because I gotta jump on it. And from here, I gotta... Oh, God. Unless we have a friend to help us out and push it, right? While we ride it. On my own, I just cannot do this one, unfortunately. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to place, like, a marker over here to know to come back, to be honest. Because, yeah, I, I just cannot get this one to move. Ooh, okay, never mind. That kind of works. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. That works, that works, that works. Ha! All right, there we go. At least we got here. Let me grab these two first. And of course, my inventory is full. Gosh, then we have so much stuff. Uh, trash that. This, I, I really wish this was not marble, though, because I really need uh, other resources to uh, make my things better. Now, I'm pretty sure I cannot do that jump, so... Let me try to get this ball to move again towards the molar. One eternity later. Awesome! We made it to the molar. Yes, we don't need friends. We can play this game on our own. <laughs> I'm joking. I wish Mateo was here because this would have been so much easier. Alright, we got it. We got the molar that I wanted. Unfortunately, it's not the golden molar. I need one more golden molar in order to be able to hold on to more arrows. That's kind of the one that I'm focusing on right now. Let me switch to my sword here, to my armor. Oh god. It got dark so fast. <laughs> oh, wait! Whoa, look at this thing. Oh, this is awesome. And of course, we also have a roly poly bias by the looks of it. And I think I could get myself a roly poly armor. If I get him stuck by these bones, might be a great way to actually take him down. All I wanted to come here is grab myself a lot of uh, grass to defeat, uh, to get to the castle, but I keep on getting uh, distracted by all these critters that I got destroyed. Stop it. Oh, he's getting himself back again. You know what? Let's just attack him then. Awesome! And he's done. Perfect. I keep on getting worried by them, but it's not really that difficult to take him out. Alright, there we go. It is a brand new day. I also have a lot of resources here that I'm gonna need. Uh, let me well, eat up real fast. Grab this one. Eat another one. Uh, let me leave some things behind because we have way too much in our inventory and I cannot carry all this stuff with me. Including the pupa and this. Thankfully, I did take out some really powerful creatures that I'm also gonna leave this one behind. Actually, these ones as well, yeah. Uh, we definitely take out, we took out some really powerful creatures that we definitely had to do that. This one as well. Um, next up. As you guys can see, we also have this right now. I want to make my way on top of this tree because I know for a fact there is some XP here. 
And the XP is right over there by the looks of it. So I'm gonna build this one. Like this. I don't think I have what I need. Yeah, I definitely need sap and clover leaves to finish it up. Which I definitely don't have in this chest. Uh, but if I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna bring it. I'm just gonna make the blueprints and I'm gonna finish them once uh, I'm gonna have what I need. Let me keep her going here. And I'm gonna take out some more mosquitoes because they're definitely gonna cause issues if I don't. Uh, but I'm just gonna smack him next. And he's done. Perfect. Uh, at the same time, I gotta go ahead and drink something because we're really thirsty. Thankfully, I do not see any more mosquitoes close by, so I should be able to make it to the mouth. There we go. And we finally got it. Man, this took so long to build. Uh, there are some, a few more arrows that we're going to lose here, but that's fine. Can we maybe jump from this, Danny? Yes, we can. Perfect. We made it. Look at this. There we go. All right. Let me get my arrow back. Let's see what we got here. There is going to be an entrance inside, apparently. Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to go through that crack. What about this? A nimble lunic? Batteries. Huh. I think I may need to... Yeah, I think we gotta turn this on. Oh, if you turn this on... It's probably gonna activate the eye. Hmm. Is this... Out of a charge, I wonder? Or what's wrong with it? There's also something all the way at the top of it. And the golden molar. Oh, we gotta get that down. Or I should just make my way inside there somehow. But I guess I'm gonna have to just build in order to get to them. All right, hold up. Before I go down here, let me just whack this one up and see what it's going to do. <laughs> Welcome to Castle Mordok and your doom. The Lord of Spores. Wow. Is he gonna say anything else? <laughs> oh, love it. Jawbridge hungers. Hmm. Alright, more doc. Oh, there's another entrance here as well. So this is how you get to this other level. Uh to get the raw science. Interesting. Holding raw science in my hands. So yeah, I see that the cables are going inside their eyes. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is the one that's making the noise when you hit it. Yeah, never mind. Maybe the eyes are also moving, but I just didn't notice. God dang it, dude. Come here. Let me take care of you. Come on. Come closer. Come on. Perfect. <laughs> he missed. But I'm not gonna miss. Awesome. Got our health back a little bit there as well. We're going through uh, the bow quite a lot, so we are gonna have to fix it up eventually. Let me just collect this one real fast. I'm still not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with these things. Alright, keep on climbing. Gonna go all the way to the top to figure out what I gotta do here. Before I go back down. Oh, you know what? I should definitely create a zip line on this side. Oh, there we go. We got one of these cabbies. Hmm, the Moldorx cabby. Alright, let's check it out. So, during the daytime, we're going to have... Ooh, old green. This looks pretty cool. But, uh, I don't like that it's ch changed the color of health. Uh, so, let's go with Supreme. Yeah, I think I like Supreme the most. For daytime. Huh. Dang it. Can I make that jump, seriously? No, 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 buddy. No, we got to do this jump. 
Unless we gotta build again. What if I try to jump up here? And from here we keep on climbing up. Oh, this kind of looks like an arena. I wonder if this is a boss battle. Let me get my bandage on. And um, let's also get a little bit of health, or more like that. Let's see if this is an arena. If it feels like an arena, but I don't see any bosses. So let me grab me the molar. There we go. I love it that we made it on top of it, though. There's a mosquito close by that wants to uh, take us out. Is there? I mean, I don't see it anywhere. Okay, never mind. And of course, I'm getting very close to that thing. A moth. But I think the moth is friendly, if I'm not mistaken. Um, hold up. Let me go to info, data. Oh yeah, we got the moth, which is a friendly one by the looks of it. Uh, but it's a level 3 one, so I do have to kill it because I have to get its resources. I'm not sure exactly how strong it is, but I will try to take it on. Oh, man, but how do I make it up there, though? Unless I gotta shoot it from up here and she's gonna come down. Yeah, probably... That's what I'm gonna have to do. Because I don't see myself climbing up there, to be honest. Alright, you know what? Let's just try to take it on. Let's see how powerful this thing is. Oh, a little bit higher. Here we go. Oh god. I gotta fight it, of course, over here instead. There we go. Not sure what power this thing has, so let me try to put as much damage to it as we can possibly put. Ooh, what? Oh, so it's creating like a wind attack. That was interesting. Come on. Perfect. Right. That. Thank you, dude. Um, let's go with seven. Perfect. Ooh, get destroyed, buddy. Nope. Yeah, of course, gonna do that. I missed. How did I miss that? Man, thankfully this sword is doing a lot of damage, and now, shoot it down. There we go. And we got the moth scales. Awesome. And the moth fuzz. Interesting. It did quite a bit of damage to me, to be honest. It is pretty powerful. Uh, let's get our health back. Unfortunately, I'm completely out of food, so I'm not sure how uh, good of a... I'm, I'm not sure how much of a good idea. It is to go at the bottom of the castle anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fall down, don't fall down, don't fall down. Let me grab my arrow. How many arrows we have? 54 arrows. We should be good. Can I grab some stuff out of this? No. All right, what if I jump on this? Yes, we can. Fortunately, I cannot really climb all the way on top of it, although I... I'm not even sure if there's anything on top of it, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything on top of it, so I'm not gonna even risk it. Alright, in that case, let's just make our way at the bottom then. I think we collect everything that we wanted to collect from here. Um, What I should do though... Let me get this one, just in case I fall down so I don't die. Oh god, oh god, oh god. And the reason I'm coming here is because there is that golden molar that I want to collect. Right over here. I'm gonna grab it. To be honest, I'm not quite sure. Ooh, unless I can do... There we go! Yes! Golden Molar! That is what I needed. Cheers, buddy. We got it. Alright, and with this one done, uh, I think I'm just gonna make my way... in the water. And I think there was like a secret over there that I could have collected if I um, glided over there. But I guess it's too late now. Alright, hold up buddy, I need more of this. Uh, 
Uh, there is a little bit of experience here. Ooh. Yes, raw science. Whoa, this one requires a level... Oh, never mind. Is this clay? What is this? Is like a different type of clay? Or is it more prestigious clay? What? Look at all this clay. What? I had no idea that there's going to be big blocks of clay that you can actually collect. That is the first time I see them. Look at that. So much clay pieces that they're giving you. All right, there we go. I got myself the resources. Let me cook a little bit of food. While this is cooking, let me go ahead and get this up. Perfect. Let me get another wheat stem here. And of course, we need more clover leaves. Of course, we need more. Did I really thought that I was going to be done? <laughs> because it's not. All right, we got the wheat stems. Let's get this one built up. And I think we might actually be good. Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to make it up there and grab me the uh, raw science from this branch. There we go. Awesome. Finally. Now, we know that there is a molar on top of that tree. Taking a look. Oh, there's also a kite in there, and more like a, a paper plane. So I could also go ahead and uh, build these ones over there as well, to be honest. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Why not? I'm gonna look for the best branch where I could uh, get this one connected to. Let's see how that go. Oh, God. Well, guess what? We are gonna have to take care of them. There we go, buddy. Are you kidding me, buddy? There we go. Knocked. That's more like it. Not for too long, though, but... Perfect. Come on. Oh, my God. Nice, nice, nice. It's almost done. There we go. Ooh, he almost had us. Yum. He almost, almost had us. Uh, and also, let's get a bandage. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's carry on. Come on. There we go, buddy. And I know there's a molar up here somewhere. I just gotta try to find it. Is there? Because my watch is not active anymore. I'm pretty sure there was something on top of this. What? Oh, I think it was that tree. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I think I confused the trees. Pretty sure I gotta go for... That vine over there. Okay. Let's build another one. Just because we can. And I guess another one. Alright, where's the molar? Definitely not on this branch. But now that I made my way up here, I'm probably gonna be able to get to it. Where is it? Oh, it's right up there. Oh, it's so high up. How the heck did this molar get up there? <laughs> of course, we got it. Awesome. Perfect. Another milk molar activated. Not sure exactly where uh, these flares are locating the. Uh... Oh, right here. Disposable throwable lights. Awesome. We got enough. Hopefully. Right, while we're at it, I'm also going to go ahead and uh, analyze the stuff that we got from the moth. Definitely need to do that as well. Alright, let's see what this is going to unlock. At the same time, I think I have enough now to make this. Yes, max size arrows. Finally, we can fold 40. Oh, man. And I could also go with hunger and thirst drain. Yeah, let's get this one as well. There we go. We got no more molars to spend. And if I now go in here and... 
organized. There we go. We have 40 of these and 14. I guess I'm going to get myself another one of stack full of 40 uh, just because we can. And let's analyze the moth scales. Is it going to allow me to make me a shield? No recipe. Seriously. That was weird. What about this one? Oh, just the moth mount and stuff moth? Seriously? I was definitely expecting more out of the moth, to be honest. Huh. All right, anyway, let me go back home. All right, and as they say, third time's a charm. Let's just try this again. Unfortunately, these freaking mosquitoes spawn back in. Gosh, thank you, dude. They're so annoying. I'm just gonna run through it, though. I'm gonna run in, jump in, and see what's gonna happen next because I don't want to fight these things anymore. Come on! Leave me alone. You guys are annoying. Oh my god, this is so deep, though. How do I go down here without dying? That is the question. Um... Let me get this in there. And whoa. Oh, I think I I think I noticed the bottom, yeah? <gasps> it is a base. Of course it is. Oh, these lights are so cool though, the way they're lighting up the path. But it's also locked. Hmm. Oh! Another tooth? Awesome. Let's grab it. Hold up, buddy. We need this. Alright. Let me get more of these lights around. Can I get him from the top I want there? Can I cut this? No. Oh, there's another door over there as well. I feel like I gotta do something in order to open these up well, with these doors, yeah. And also this parkour. Maybe I'm supposed to follow this parkour to figure out where it's going. Uh, there's no way to get inside from the bottom. Mysterious lab, there we go. Has just been discovered. How do I get in? Hmm. Yeah, because apparently I cannot get inside through here. And, and this one is the Omanent Lab. Look at that. Omanent Practical Technologies. I feel like I gotta follow this cable somehow underneath there and turn it on. Also this red cable as well. What am I supposed to do with it to turn that one on? Can I open it up from here? <gasps> Man. And we got a button. Yes, we finally can get inside here. All right, now the big question is, where is that cable going? Because there is that cable kind of going under the ground over there. The problem is I don't have the ability to breathe on the water, right? So I may just need to go ahead and get myself the outfit to be able to, bring on, to breathe on the water. Uh, we do have a field station over here that I already activated. And I know that there is this big guy over here. Um, we do have... Oh, hold up. We have another mission that I can activate, actually. A kill, a stink bug. Five of them, actually. Okay, I guess I'm going to do that. Uh, while we're at it, what can I spend this on? Red Ant Hill chip. Okay, hedge chip. Daredevil... Picnic chip, turret pollen, pond, a base stuff. Oh, grass curved floor, yes. And buoyant foundation. Actually, I don't have any more. Okay, so now we can make curved floor for the grass. Uh, but the thing is, I still haven't seen any. Look at that. Oh man, those recipes look amazing. I had no idea we we're gonna be able to get them. Get out of here, dudes. Come on, attack. There we go. 
finally. Alright, so I was saying, I don't see any cables. There is a little bit of XP over there in that skull. But, um... No cables as far as I can see. Alright, let me make my way to that, uh... Skull then. Come on, buddy. We got this. Just a little bit more. Dang it. And I think that skull may be about here. There we go. Oh, what the? Where'd you come from, dude? Hey, you better hide. <laughs> oh my god, I knocked it so far. There we go. Come on, attack. Ah, oh, miss. Come here, dude. There we go. Alright, nothing behind this skull, but... Man, this actually looks pretty cool. Look at this thing. Alright, anyway, you know what? I don't think I am going to be able to go inside here. I have a feeling I got to do some other missions. And then I'm going to be able to come uh, here to Castle Murdoch. So what I'm going to do, instead, I'm going to go for Wendell. Let's just explore Wendell here. I feel like this may be a part of the uh, final mission instead. And uh, I should not do this one yet. Alright, so uh, I did make my way back home. Got some sleep out a little bit here. Uh, let me eat something. Eat again. Uh, I did get myself a little bit of this stuff. So I can improve my crossbow. Uh, so let me go over here. Get the crossbow. Upgrade one more time. Perfect. We're gonna need so much more, of course, to make it even stronger. But at least it's now a little bit better. Alright, uh, do I have anything in the inventory that I don't need to carry? No. And the reason I'm doing this, guys, is because I figured out that, apparently, you cannot get inside the uh, Moldrock just yet in the castle because I think that may be part of the final uh, puzzle of the game, I guess. The final battle, which I'm now ready for. Because I think what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to make my way to Wendell. And probably once I'm going to do a few more missions there, then uh, something's going to open up the entrance, right? for Moldock Castle, wherever there. So I'm gonna quit going to that thing instead, and uh, I'm gonna make my way instead over there. Make my way under the barn, and see what this place is all about. I'm really happy that at least I finished uh, defeating the moth at the top, but today I also wanna make my way inside here, because this is where the mission wants me to go, right? I think I'm gonna make my way inside the barn. Either underneath it, or inside it. I, I think it's probably gonna be more like underneath it, because this barn is pretty huge. <laughs> And I don't think I'm going to be able to go inside it. At least, I don't know. I think so. I think I'm not going to be able to. I don't know. And drop down. Oh, God. Also took a little bit of damage. Seriously? How? How did that even happen? All right. Let me go up here. And let me make my way to the bottom. What is this? There's another ball here. Of course, there's a lot of spiders around. This seems to be uh, their house. And there's also another field station we got to unlock, which is probably going to be inside. Oh, do I need to swim on the water? Under shed entrance. Look at that. So, yeah, I think I'm going to need to go on the water. I don't know how deep it's going to be, though. Hmm. I might have... Um, I might have needed to get myself the ability to swim on the water faster and breathe on the water more. Let there be light. Oh, never mind. Never mind. The entrance is right here, actually. Hold up. You got to hold it, buddy. So curious to see what this is all about. Awesome. Find when the lab beneath the shed. Completed, I guess. Alright, what do we got here? Got some soul. We got some uh, health packs. How often are we going to have to fight some enemies around here, to be honest? 
All right, we have the ability to analyze some stuff. Oh, what is that? A splat bust. Okay, we got some bandages, some lint, which I'm not gonna say no to. Is that it? Oh, and an arrow. What arrow is that? A salt arrow. Hmm. Definitely didn't manage to do any of that. Oh, wait. Black Ox Burger. What? Lighting and a tape. in the dark is playing tricks on my mind. I fear every shadow, hear whispers in the silence. But most of all, I miss my family. Oh, Trudy and her crooked grin. The way she rolled her eyes at my dumb jokes. <laughs> Sarah, my little angel. How she would jump into my arms every time I walked through the door after work. And Thor. Thor and his obsession of the month. What was the last one? Castle Moldork? No, no, no. No! Oh, it Castle Moldork. Mant. Look at that. Dad, what do you mean I don't need Mant minis? Have you seen them? Do you even know what a Mant is? <laughs> it's so rad, Dad. A barbarian. An insectoid warrior with the mind of a human. That... Wait a minute. What is he talking an about? Insect with a human mind. Huh. I wonder if... No, 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 stop it, Wendell. The darkness is giving you strange notions again. You need to focus on the task at hand. Raisoning. Raw science. The key is here. It must, must be. be. Alright, let's see what this uh, forbidden recipe is. A note detailing how to harness the natural refrigeration powers of ice caps meant to preserve foods. Ah, <gasps> uh, so maybe I'm gonna be able to preserve the food? Fresh storage, no way! So I think I'm gonna be able to make like a lot of food and place it in that thing, and that way that thing is not gonna go, the food is not gonna go bad anymore. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, man, definitely gonna have to do that as well for sure. I'm gonna have nightmares about this place for the rest of my life. Whoa. What is that? This looks really creepy though. And also there are a lot of spikes around here that I can actually collect. To make even more arrows. I'm of course gonna need a crafting table to make arrows. Oh god, I don't like the sound of this. Man, but look at this. I think, yeah, we are definitely underneath the shed. And I do see another one of those things that we got open up over there. Uh, you want to know what I want to do? I want to throw one of these down. Nothing really that important below me. Okay, so we got an ox that we got to take care of. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I could... Oh my god, there's three of them. What? Oh, man. Yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm not gonna even bother, at least not yet. I'm just gonna get my arrows back eventually, but for now, let me keep on exploring and see what else we got around here. Might up Gotta get rid of these fellas first. You know what they say, a foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of little mice. There's so many mites around here, I can hear them. Problem is, if I get that off this pipe, it's probably gonna be very difficult to get back on it. Or maybe not, yeah, I could definitely just jump on that. And it kind of feels like the game does want me Don't to use arrows boiling. here, because it gives me so many of those arrow pieces. Man, but this place, so freaking dark. What? There's also a broken pipe you can go inside. Oh man, so many dust mites. Yeah, here, buddy. Alright, he's done. I guess I'm gonna explore the uh, pipes first. Can I use these ones to damage them? Or maybe the night, the uh, 
Axe. I feel like the axe is definitely doing more damage. Look at that. It's absolutely destroying them. Yeah, for sure. More might. Where is this pipe taking me to, though? What is that? Oh, it's a golden molar. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. That was not bad. Let's get this one real fast. I wish there was a way to get out of this pipe through here, but I guess I'm gonna have to go back. Yeah, I can hear that dude above me. Definitely gonna have to go for my arrows back again. All right, what do we got here? I don't wanna go even deeper, to be honest, at least not yet. I wanna take down those big critters the oxes, all three of them, so that I can easily explore that area. And of course, we got these fellas, protecting them a little bit of XP there. Alright, let me try to take out the oxes. So there's one. I'm just gonna sit on this and see what he's gonna do about it. Because he's not gonna be able to reach me. Much, much better like this. Come on, give me stamina back. All right, and there is one of the oxes. Perfect. I'm definitely doing much more damage now that I upgraded my crossbow. I'm gonna try to put as many upgrades into this crossbow as possible because to be honest, I play with the crossbow more than I'm playing with the swords or any other weapons. I think there's also a moth right here or something if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there definitely has to be a moth or something right here. Alright. Man, was not expecting to find three oxes inside this place. Uh, but I'm gonna have to eat up. And I'm also gonna have to try to make me more of these arrows. I'm pretty sure I cannot craft them here, right? Pretty sure I need the workbench. Yep, definitely the workbench. And these are not moths, these are just gnats. Never mind. Alright, there is a little bit of XP over there. Uh, there's also this power cable. I wonder if this power cable might be the one uh, activating the castle, the Moldar castle. Imagine. Imagine that may actually be it. Get out of here, buddy. There's another one here, or I think he might... Oh, he's above. I really want that XP, though. But what I'm going to get now is another Molar. Perfect. All right, that's what I was looking for. Next up, make my way down here. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do about this line. Even if I can, I don't... I think I want to turn it off. Do I? Definitely don't want to turn it off. I need it to be on for sure. Alright, we got a little poly. I do not want to kill it though. I mean, of course, grabbing the roly poly uh, resources is not bad, but I don't think I need it. And we got another field station. Let's see what it's all about. And I think we also have a tape we can listen to. Raw science storage of this magnitude is tricky. It's imperative to keep it cool and out of the sun. Luckily, this crawl space is the perfect environment for both. Once the lab is complete, I can begin my trials of direct Raw science infusion. 
I must know whether this byproduct particle originates from the subject or the process, as I originally assumed. The only way to know for sure is to infuse myself with, um, variable doses. Dangerous? Quite. But it must be done, or I am doomed. Huh. If I can replenish these rogue particles in my body, perhaps I can finally reverse this raisinification. Awesome. Right. Raw storage. Oh, so maybe I can create a raw storage system, I wonder. Or maybe that's just the tape. Yeah, never mind. Right, let me make it to this fella and take it out. Because I'm going to get myself more raw science here. Alright, 500. Perfect. And let me go back to that house because apparently for some reason it didn't activate. Although, I definitely activated it. I'm not sure what happened there. Taking out the roly-poly from up here might actually be also very, very easy to do if you want to. But yeah, look at that. The field station keeps on activating. Although, I already passed through it. So, what the heck? Is it going to be like a different one? No, it's definitely this one for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. It just didn't activate for some reason. So let me make my way inside it again. To hopefully activate it. There you go. I think now it's active. Alright, I don't really want to search for anything inside this. We got the tape that we needed. That is all I wanted. Uh, next up. Let me keep on going this way. Ooh, look at all this. We're getting a lot of lint here. Unfortunately, some of them are dropping down because of the position, but... Hey, what can I do? I'm doing my best, guys. Oh, there's another one. No. Dang it, we lost a few, though. Alright, I can hear a little bit more raw science, which is right over here. And the problem is, if I do jump down here, I'm not going to be able to climb up. Can I? Actually, I think I will, yeah. I think I should be good. Come on, buddy. Nice. All right, and we got more rest science. Perfect. Oh, man, this place. The thing is, there are some really crazy spiders down here. I can definitely hear them. Yeah, I can most definitely hear them. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I was just about to fall down. Okay, uh, in that case, let me make my way over here. Let me see if I can climb back up. Because I want to use this one to keep on crossing. Hmm. There we go. Good job, buddy. Let me also get myself a bandage while we're at it to get my health back. Oh, there's a coin in there. And, of course, one of those bugs. <laughs> he ran off. He just ran off. Oh no, I fell down. Oh god. Actually, that's not bad because I can definitely get back up. I gotta go back to the other side then. Oh, including a lot of these crazy spiders, tiger spiders around here. What about on this side? Ooh, so much of this. This is definitely the way to go if you wanna get a lot of this dust because on the porch, of course, it's an easy way to get a lot of dust, right? But you're not really getting that much. Compared to how much we're getting here. And we do have to go on top of this pipe eventually. Now, the question is, do I want to go inside? I mean, of course I want to go inside it eventually, right? But, um, let's just see what's on top of it first. Oh, God. So many of these spiders, so... Yeah, keep on trying to jump to me. There we go. And fall down. Let me make my way over here. Perfect. 
effect. Grab oh my god, there's so many tiger spiders! What the heck? I don't think it's a good idea to fight them all. Oh my god, but this goes so deep. Uh, you know what the big problem is? <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get back on the on the pipe now. And this means I gotta go down here like, oh god, oh god, no, no. That may be bad. That may be very bad. But let me grab this one first. Alright, hold up, hold up. Let me grab a little bit of this. Uh, we do have a little bug over here, but I... Oh my god! Where the heck did this guy come from? Holy smokes, dude! Oh no! Get a bandage on. Like, right now. Oh my god. He destroyed me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nope. Nope. Seven. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, he's almost dead. Oh. And I'm almost dead as well. Uh, eight. Oh my god, he almost got me. Are you kidding me, game? Oh, there's another one. What? No, dude. Why are there so many enemies here? Oh, look at them. Three of them. Oh my god, this place is so dangerous. Right, uh... Drop it, actually. Dude, I didn't kill that ant. It died on its own. I promise. Alright, there we go. Doesn't want to believe me. Just keep her. Oh, look at that. One of those bugs. It went in the ground, unfortunately. We lost it. That's fine. All right. Let's see where it's going to take us to then. Ooh. I think this may be an ant farm or something by the looks of it. Yep. Definitely feels like it. Because they got a lot of these eggs around, right? Undershed sinkhole. Whoa. Holy smokes. This place is gigantic. I did not expect this when I first decided to go inside here. Well, it's not getting a lot of resources. Look at all these shards. Jeez Louise, dude. Take a look. How do you even get out of this place? <laughs> oh no. Oh god, no, 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 I gotta get out of there. <laughs> ah. I cannot see what's happening. Because it's so dark. And I did not want to drop those bombs there. Hold up, let me get these things to come here. Gosh dang it, dudes. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna go for the sinkhole then. I'm not ready for this. What the heck? What with all these spotters? What? Oh my god, there's five of them. Oh no. Let him pass. Let him pass. Yeah. Yeah, you guys go. One, two, three, four, five, six spotters. Are you kidding me? Spider, be careful. Spider detected. What? Holy smokes. What are they even protecting though? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stuck in a web. Come at me, bro. Woo. 
I'm gonna fight him. I'm gonna absolutely destroy them all. Just wait. Hold up. Let me get this one. Because this is also gonna give me health. So let's do a little bit of that then. You guys wanna fight? Let's fight. I got you, bro. <laughs> They're getting destroyed right now. There's another one. There's another one. And there's another one. There we go. You guys wanted to die. I mean, I didn't want to do this, but they just decided to start attacking, so... I had to give them what they asked for. Look how many parts. I cannot collect all these parts anymore. My inventory is full. I need food. Uh, now the question is, can I get back out? The way we came through? Oh, man, why didn't they put a working bench in here though? They put all this crazy stuff but no working bench. And we have three that we gotta spend but I need four if I wanna grab another thingamajig. 